Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. With the advancement in science and technology, you might think those men and women in white overcoats would be able to explain everything by now. However, that's not really the case. They're great at their job, but sometimes they encounter something or some place that leaves them totally stumped. From the Nazca lines to the doorway to hell, let's look at the 10 most mysterious places that have left scientists baffled. Number 10, Invitnet Island, Kenya. Kenya houses one of the biggest unsolved mysteries of the world. It's an island named Invitnet, which literally means no return in the local Elmano language of the tribe. Situated on Rudolph Lake, the island is just several kilometers long. Though many tribes and locals live near it, no one lives on that island, as it's a popular belief that the place is cursed. Locals say that many used to live on the island many years ago. They fished, hunted, and traded with their relatives on the mainland. However, the island residents suddenly stopped coming to the mainland at all. Then several men from the waterside village came to the island to see what happened. When they reached the island, they were struck dumb. They saw a deserted village with huts full of various things. There was no sign of any humans there. British explorer Vivina Fuchs tried to test the theory in 1935 and went to the island with two colleagues. They disappeared too, and no sign of their existence was found when the rescue mission made it to the island. That just reinforced the legends about the island. It's still a place of mystery, even for the smartest minds on Earth. Number 9. The Boiling River Next up, we have a very weird but completely natural phenomenon that will blow your mind. In Peru, a legend tells of a river that kills everything that falls into its waters. It runs to the center of the earth, destroying all in its path. The Boiling River, or Chene Tempishka, is hidden in the heart of the Amazon rainforest in Peru. When an unlucky creature wanders in, the eyes cook first, melting in its skull. Soon the animal is in too much pain to keep swimming to safety. Water fills its mouth and lungs, and it's cooked from the inside out. The river gets as hot as 196 Fahrenheit, and scientists aren't entirely sure why. While the river's extreme temperatures are not unusual for a geothermal surface, it is deemed remarkable that it's non-volcanic. The nearest active volcano area is actually more than 430 miles away. Local legends state that boiling water is released by a giant serpent, Yukumama, meaning mother of waters. Scientists haven't even been able to explain the natural phenomenon, so we might as well believe the local folk. Number 8. Door to Hell The door to hell has finally been found, but you'll have to visit Turkmenistan to visit it. Bummer. Central Asia knows where the party's at. This is one that looks and sounds immensely scary, which it is. According to a geologist, Soviet engineers had originally thought that the place had been a sizable oil field. They proceeded to set up a drill and start an operation to assess the amount of oil. They soon found out that this was not indeed an oil site, but rather it turned out to be a natural gas pocket. The floor collapsed under the camp, burying both the camp and the drill in the crater. Thankfully, nobody has lost their lives in this accident. The engineers noticed that poisonous gases were released and decided to burn them off, so no one in the surrounding towns would be hurt. The estimate on how long it would burn was a few weeks at most, but it's been burning since 1971. It's also expected to keep on burning. The reason for the decade-long burning is still not known to scientists. The locals dubbed it the door to hell, as the site is a terrifying thing to behold. Number 7. Amazon Geoglyphs Humans had been manipulating the landscape for thousands of years before the British started getting obsessed with colonization. The Amazon rainforest has long been thought of as a pristine ecosystem that was untouched by humans before the Europeans arrived. But new research shows that people manipulated the landscape centuries before their arrival. Modern deforestation in the Amazon led to the discovery of more than 450 geometrically shaped ditches known as geoglyphs, which occupy roughly 4,000 square meters in the acre state of Brazil and are each 4 meters deep. These circular geoglyphs went unnoticed for centuries because trees covered them up. Researchers say they aren't certain what functions the geoglyphs served. Scientists believe the geoglyphs were created by Amazonian indigenous tribes between 1000 BC and 1000 CE. Number 6. Double Tree of Kasorza Why have one tree when you can have two? That seems to be the theory in Kasorza, Italy. 
where there's a remarkable sight to behold in a field. It's two trees in one, and they're completely different species of tree. The bottom one is a mulberry tree, but it has a cherry tree growing on top of it. It's sort of a hybrid duplex of the kind that very rarely occur in nature. While smaller trees do occasionally grow on top of larger ones, it's very unusual to see two fully grown trees cohabiting and thriving like this. Usually one of the tree's good health will come at the expense of the other, and it's usually the tree on top that suffers. As the beautiful white flowers on the cherry tree demonstrate, this is not the case here. Unsurprisingly, the strange tree has become a tourist attraction for the area. Although, it's had to be fenced off for its own protection so people don't get too close and ruin it, like everything else that's beautiful. Obviously, climbing it is illegal too. Number 5. The Mystery Spot in Michigan At the fifth spot, we have one of the coolest yet strangest spots on Earth. The Mystery Spot on St. Ignace in Michigan. Yeah, we know. We made it sound a bit ironic there. But once you hear how amazing this place is, you might just want to bear with us. Wouldn't it be really cool to be able to bend yourself like the once king of pop Michael Jackson? Well, at the mystery spot, you can do that and a whole lot more. You can climb a wall without any rope and even tilt yourself at a slipping angle. Yet, you won't fall. A tall person here would seem a little bit taller when compared to their normal height in other places. In short, gravity appears to go a bit lenient on tourists at the mystery spot. But then, its secrets were locked away in the upper peninsula of Michigan until it was discovered in the 50s by a team of surveyors while exploring the area. But when scientists came into the matter, they said it's a question of optical illusion. Number 4. Gobekli Tepe you probably think Stonehenge, built 6,500 years ago, is the earliest known structure of the ancient world. However, Gobekli Tepe, discovered in the 1990s in a remote part of present-day Turkey, is even older. The massive megalith is around 11,000 years old, the oldest known significant site created by humans. Its purpose is still undetermined, but Stone Age masons created 20 circles of tall rock pillars weighing up to 20 tons. Some of the T-shaped pillars are nearly 16 feet high and boast carved reliefs of foxes, bulls, bears, reptiles, scorpions, vultures, and other creatures twisting up their broadsides. Other pillars have human arms, leading experts to believe the horizontal tops might represent human heads. Excavations indicate that in the early 8th millennium BC, the megalith seemed to lose its importance, but the complex was not simply abandoned and left to the elements. The enclosures were deliberately buried under refuse consisting of small limestone fragments, stone vessels, and stone tools. Many animal and human bones have also been found in the fill. Number 3. Next up, beneath the coastal waters of the Japanese island of Yonaguni lies a series of mysterious rock formations that take our number 3 spot. Since its discovery nearly 35 years ago, the strangely symmetrical shapes and structures of the Yonaguni Monument have led to fierce debate over its true origins. Could the odd shapes of this structure really have been carved by a lost Japanese civilization thousands of years ago? Or is it just a stunning example of natural geology deep beneath the sea? Often called the Japanese Atlantis, geologists assumed that this was a whole city that was sunk by a huge earthquake some 2,000 years ago. Nearby, other formations are also found, suggesting it might be a submerged ancient city. This theory contends that the structures are at least 5,000 years old and belong to a lost civilization, possibly the legendary Mu or Lemuria. But nothing's been confirmed. What do you think it is? Number 2. Lake Hillier Lake Hillier has become famous for its distinctive pink color, which very much resembles a pack of bubblicious gum. Again, looks can be deceiving. It's located on the edge of the Middle Island and is inhabited only by one type of algae, Dunaliella salina. This is due to the high percentage of salt present in the water, making it a living hell for other sea life. The algae feeds on the sunlight, absorbing every color from the sun's spectrum, except for red. The reflection of the color gives it its distinct pink color. So why is this lake particularly deadly? Well, because of the very microorganisms that live inside of it. It can't harm human skin, but beware. One little sip of this deadly red algae soup can cause immediate kidney failure. Number 1. The Nazca Lines Peru is filled with mysteries, but this one has surprised scientists the most over the years. If you ever fly over the high desert of southern Peru in a plane, 
you'll witness the landscape change as lines take shape to form simple geometric designs like trapezoids, straight lines, rectangles, triangles, and swirls. Some of the swirls and zigzags start to form more distinct shapes, like a hummingbird, a spider, a monkey? These are the renowned Nazca lines that have been the subject of great mystery for over 80 years. How are they formed? What purpose could they have served? And were aliens involved? No one knows the answer to these questions. In total, there are over 800 straight lines, 300 geometric figures, and 70 animal and plant designs, also called biomorphs. Some of the straight lines run up to 30 miles, while the biomorphs range from 50 to 1,200 feet in length. For context, that's as large as the Empire State Building. Have you ever been to any of these places? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.